Okay, we got us an older Corvette C6 here, and first thing we're going to do is cut and leave the bottom long. We're going to cut this way on both sides, and then we're going to typically anchor right about 60% towards the top, leaving 60% of the film to shrink on the bottom, 40% on the top, and you'll notice I'll lock down the top. The bottom, not so much. I mean, I like to give it a direction to follow, but that's about it. You get a better view on this side. I'll stretch out this side and then reach over and tack that right at the 60% mark. Come straight down, and then we're going to push it up. This side, we're going to push down just ever so slightly. Not much at all. In fact, you'll notice I'll end up lifting that up before we go too far. Um, and this is just my preferred method uh, because it gives me lots to work with on the bottom and not so much to deal with on top but first thing we're going to do we're going to go ahead and even out our fingers and get everything all ready to shrink and okay enough procrastinating let's go ahead and grab the torch and we're going to start I'm going to tell my camera guy to come over here so you can see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, here we go. And basically just going to hit it. Notice the fingers are going straight down towards the bottom edge of the film, and that's the direction you want to shrink. You never want to shrink, and that's why I keep pushing with my fingers. You notice I keep pushing it straight down. A lot of times people are going to want to shrink towards that line or towards that edge, and that's where you run into a lot of issues because... The film naturally wants to curl that way because it believes it's a side. And we need to shrink as far over there as we can. So that's why I leave it long. It gives just kind of training wheels, if you will. You can you can shrink right past that line in a downward motion. And all I'm doing right here is just splitting things up and just taking it little by little. And after I shrink a little, I'll split the fingers, shrink a little, split the fingers. And you just basically repeat that process. Don't be afraid to lift the film up a little bit and give a little tension on it. The more tension you can put on it or the more you can pull it, the more heat you can give it and the better shrink you can get too. So there is that. But if you're relying 100% on pushing it down in heat, this is a really tough vehicle to do. So you want to use a little bit of all these techniques and then you'll see that we can just little by little lay it down okay so let me grab my card over here and we'll see where we're at so far and you notice I'm pushing down just like I would on a normal back glass even though we're on the side I want everything to go down towards that bottom and then we're going to lift this up a little bit to re-expose what I still have left to shrink now technically I could lay this window right now and just heat these from, from the outside. So if you're really struggling, feel free to just stop right there with that and move on towards the center of the window. But I don't know. I'm the kind of guy that doesn't like to heat fingers after I'm done. So, you know, I, I, I'll fight with it more than I probably need to. And that's just being hard-headed, I suppose. Now we're going to, I guess, hit this one more time. You know, watching yourself tint and trying to talk about it is kind of difficult, but either way, we're just about done with this. So we'll hit that a little bit and that just a little bit. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's get to the middle. Maybe I should just edit this part out. <laughs> but no, and you notice I'm, I'm not getting real aggressive with the heat. You know, normally when I shrink with a torch, I get really aggressive. With a Corvette, not so much. Now you're going to see all this excess I got here. Um, so when you get to this point, I could keep going towards the center. But better yet, let's go toward, to the center. And we'll go ahead and shrink a big bunch of this center out. And what that's going to do is pull a lot of that foam from the other side towards the center. Leaving a whole lot less to shrink over there than I left in the first place. 
So now we're just going to come back over to the other side and make sure it worked with what we have left. We're, if you notice where the line is right there, we're right there at it. So we're just going to go ahead and pull this out. Like I said, I hate shrinking after the fact. So you can see where that line is. I got nothing left here. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of wrap it up. And I hope that this helps. Uh, this really should give you an idea of what you need to do. You can see that I'm well past that edge. So that's it. Um, and this is the finished product. I hope that was enough to help. And I appreciate you watching. And feel free to get a hold of me if you need anything. I'll be glad to help wherever I can. Thanks.